Good morning, grade 3. Today we're on page 100 in English doing the last lesson. It's called The Ship of the Desert. I'm going to hold the camera still. You're going to follow my reading in your textbooks. So this story is written like a play. What's the difference? Let's look at the first sentence together. It says, Lion Roaring. Who are you? You see how it's got the lion in bold and then two dots. And then this is his dialogue. This is what the lion says. In brackets are the instructions how he should say it or what they should do. Now, if it was a story, I would it would be written like this. The lion roared, comma, who are you? The camel said... Looking down at him, I am the ship of the desert. Who are you? he asked. But it's not written like a story. It is written like dialogue. Lion, roaring is the instruction for the lion to know, or the actor. Roar, who are you? The camel, he should look down because he is taller than the lion. And answer only, I am the ship of the desert. Who are you? Lion will say, don't you know me? I'm the king of the forest. Forest is made capital here as if it's the only forest. The name of the forest is forest. And that's why and normally I would make it lowercase because forest is a common noun. We don't read this part in a play. Only the camel says this dialogue. Are you? Oh, I see. Lion frowning means when you pull your eyebrows together to look grumpy. You call yourself the ship of the desert? How can you be a ship? You're an animal. The question mark normally I'd put here, how can you be a ship? You're an animal, exclamation. That's how I'm reading it, see? How can you be a ship? You're an animal. What I would like to do is uh, read everything to you once and then I'm going to assign acting for you. That means... One of you is going to be a lion, or two, or three, or four of you, and the other three or four will be a camel. You're going to have to put some costume on at home, and you're going to have to say your lines separately. We'll figure that out. Let's first see whether we know how to say all the words. So what you're going to do in this period is practice reading this. And today, I know that you find my reading long and boring, Today you're going to listen closely. Why? Because you are going to do this as a video play. The only thing you, you are responsible for is you have to have a little bit of a costume, do good acting, and say the words clearly and correctly. And I will put it all together as a video play. So I hope this makes you want to, especially Srishti and Ranjit and all these Aditi children who find my reading super boring. I hope this makes you want to listen to it because you are going to be saying these words and I will select the actors who say them the best. Let's move on. The camel. This is the stage instructions. So he's smiling now. What was the last thing the um, lion said? He said, you're an animal. How can you be a ship? So I am. Yes, I am an animal, but people call me the ship of the desert. I can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. The sand burns, but it doesn't bother me. I'm trying to do it with expression also because this is dialogue. You're an animal, he says. So I am, but people call me the ship of the desert. I can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. The sand burns, but it doesn't bother me. Lion. I can't believe it. Camel says, can you walk across a desert? Lion blinks. He's a bit surprised. No, I can't. But I can run in the forest. Camel with disdain means when you think little of something, you are thinking about it with disdain. Camel, huh, with disdain. That's nothing great, running in the forest. Disdain is a feeling you have when you think about something that you don't find very impressive. 
Every animal can do that. I alone can run on sand. I can run on sand at 25 kilometers an hour. Lion, wonderingly, surprised, thinking about it. How can you do that? Camel says, look at my feet. They are thick and padded. The hot sun doesn't burn them. Does not burn them. Why have I said doesn't? I'm trying to say it like a dialogue. Look at my feet. They are thick and padded. The hot sun does not burn them. Here are his feet. Padded means with pieces of flesh underneath. They are thick, so he's protected from the burning sand. The lion says, My feet are padded too. Thorns don't prick them, and I can run 80 kilometers an hour. Camel, that's true. That is true. You can run 80 kilometers an hour in the forest, but can you run even a mile on the hot sand? Lion, maybe not, but... Uh, Camel interrupts. Cutting in, interrupting, when somebody else is speaking and you start speaking. And you can't live without water for a week, can you? The lion says, No, I can't. I need water every day. But don't tell me you can do without water. Camel says, Yes, I can. There are no rivers or lakes in a desert, but that does not bother me. I can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. The lion says, Really? You must have a big stomach. And the camel answers proudly when you are very happy about something, when you think it's a great thing. Yes, I have a big stomach. I can store water for a week. I can store food for two weeks even. Lion showing a lot of interest. Now you're not reading those parts when you do the video. You're just going to say it with your face and voice. So now the lion is interested. Do you store food in your stomach? The camel says, no I don't. I store it in my hump. I eat a lot of food at one time. Then I don't need to eat for a fortnight. A fortnight is two weeks. Four weeks makes a month and two weeks is called a fortnight. That's interesting, lion is talking now. But what do you eat? The camel says, I eat leaves, but there are no trees in a desert. What do you eat there? There are thorny bushes in the desert. I eat the thorns. The thorns don't prick my thick tongue. This is a word you have difficulty with saying and spelling. Tongue. So the camel has such a thick tongue that he can eat thorns. Thorns are the prickly. Here's a cactus. And the thorns are the prickly things that come out. So surprisingly enough, the camel can eat those. The lion says, how funny. The camel says, Mr. King of the Forest, please come with me to the desert. The lion says, no, I better not. I can't walk on burning sand. I can't store food and water. And I can't eat thorns. Goodbye and good luck, Mr. Ship of the Desert. So this is a story where obviously the camel is the hero of this story. And he tells us all the unusual things about himself that make it possible for him to live in a desert which is hot, burning sand, no water, very little food. So um, now that you have heard all the words... Um, let's practice reading this one time together and then we are going to make a play. We're going to do it even though we are far apart from each other. Um, but I'm going to select the actors on how well you read it. So listen to this video, ask me in uh, the group if you can't say a word still. And then we'll uh, choose the actors. <laughs> 